Hey everyone, this is Edmund here and it's been a while since my last video because I'm not sponsored by anyone at all. I buy my own device to review them and I went ahead and got a new mic. It's the Rode USB mic. So hopefully the audio will sound much better. Mm -hmm. And today mm -hmm. I have the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro 6 to do a comparison as to which one I'm going to keep. Well, it's pretty obvious, but I'll still do the review and let you compare and decide which one. So let's go. Now for years, Microsoft has really been milking their design on the Surface lineup. Ever since the Surface Pro 4, nothing much has been new on the latest Surface. In fact, rumor has it that the Surface Pro 8 is going to look exactly the same as the Surface Pro 7. So the only difference is that they make incremental improvements, pretty much copying what Apple has done over the years with their MacBook Air and MacBook Pros. Very little has changed, but they do incremental updates and improvements so that it will keep you in the loop. Now, there's nothing wrong with, because it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Now, now, both of these devices are great for everyday use. I use it for professional real estate work like signing contracts and even watch Netflix and other videos with it. It's a great tablet. It's got great battery life. Now, I have to say off the top, the Surface Pro 6, the last generation, has better battery life than the newer Surface Pro 7. I don't know what the Surface Pro 8 is going to be like, but both of these machines are i5. Off the top, if I don't tell you which one is which, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. And if I lay it side by side here like this, now they both lean back the exact same amount in terms of the angle here. And you can see that. And there really is no difference. There really is no difference between the two if you just look at it. Now, the only difference is that the Surface Pro 6, the older one, has the display port and the newer Surface Pro 7 has the USB-C port for your video out and your accessories. And in terms of accessories, you can still use the old Surface Pro 4 accessories. This is from the Surface Pro 4. It's the keyboard that has the fingerprint sensor. I love it and it still works great on these two devices. And I really appreciate what Microsoft has done because the way that they do this is that all the Surface Pro lineups holds their value just like the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air does because there's very little incremental changes, but they always charge you a premium for it. Now, nothing wrong with buying a premium device because of the build quality and the way that it feels is really incredible. Uh, I have to say, in terms of weight, the newer Surface Pro 7 is just a tiny bit lighter than the Surface Pro 6. And in terms of performance, I really just got to say that they both perform really well and they are no slouch. In terms of battery life, I've said it again, the Surface Pro 6 has a better battery life than the Surface Pro 7. But if you tweak it with, say, throttle stop, it will help you with the battery life on the Surface Pro 7 and it will last you a whole full day of eight hours. No problem there. Now, portability, exactly the same. So now, what's the difference between these two Surface Pros? Can you really guess which one is the 6 and which one is the 7 just by looking at these two devices? Now, I don't think you'll be able to tell the difference between the 6 and the 7 if I don't tell you which is which. Even till now, I don't think you can guess which one is which, right? Because they both use the exact same Pixel Sense display from I think the Surface Pro 5, they've been using the exact same display. Well, let me tell you, this one is the Surface Pro 7 and this one is the Surface Pro 6. The Surface Pro 7 has two mics here.
that picks up clearer audio for your Zoom meetings and professional uh, web conferences. The Surface Pro 6 is also a great device for your Zoom meeting. Nothing wrong with it. It's just that they've made refinements and improvements over the last generation. And rumor has it the Surface Pro 8 is going to be the exact same as the Surface Pro 7. But we'll see in January 2021 when the new lineup comes out. So right now, which one should you buy? I would say if you don't really care about getting the latest device, the Surface Pro 6 is a great choice because it has a better battery life than the Surface Pro 7. And the display is exactly the same. The Surface Pro 7 is just a tiny bit lighter than the Surface Pro 6. Both can use the exact same accessories, the keyboard and the pen on both editions. And I would say that the Surface Pro 8 will be the exact same because these are business devices and they are really good for media consumption as well. I love using it for Netflix or Amazon videos while I work out or even I can bring it to the gym. And the ability to write on it is a plus because I do client signatures from time to time and fill out PDF forms. So the Service Pro 7 is my new day-to-day -day device for everyday use. And I still do keep a gaming laptop for video editing, don't get me wrong, but the Service Pro lineup is just so portable, it's so light, and even with the keyboard, it's still very portable and it's very intuitive. I hope this quick video will help you decide which one to keep, the Service Pro 6 or the Service Pro 7. This one is on the 8th gen Intel processor. This one is on the 10th gen Intel processor. Now, they can both run Hackintosh. If you search online for um, Clover or open core files, they both run perfectly. The only difference is that the built-in Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth will work on the Service Pro 7. While running Hackintosh on the Service Pro 6 will require you to use a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongle for it to work. If you like to do boot between Windows and a Mac, the Surface Pro 7, it really is a good choice because I've been running it perfectly to do boot between the two and even the video out works perfectly. And what can I say? This is a great device for everyday use. And I'm Edmund and I'll see you on the next one. By the way, please consider hitting the bell icon and subscribe so that I can make more videos because I really appreciate your comments and your support so that I could buy more device and do a review and help you decide. Thank you so much.